With the pit tagging, I'm assuming you've all seen these tags before, but it's a little glass encased transponder, so passive integrated transponder. So one of the things that you want to do is get a reader and make sure you got the code and that the tag is functioning before you stick it in the snake. So so do we test that tag? Do we have a number on it? You got the reader? Nine eight two one two six. Do it again. Oh five one two seven. Do it one more time. <laughs> Should be a way to have it hold, maybe. Yeah, I'll talk to Robert about that. Yeah. Oh, it's not storing because it's full. Is it? Okay, I'll have to clear it off then. Well, we know it works. So now, what? What? Yeah, so we could read yeah, this guy and see if this one has a tag. But if you, in case you don't know about pit tag technology, this is the transceiver, right? So it's sending out a signal activating the tag. And uh, we'll send out the signal and receive the signal. If there's a tag in there, it'll give its code. But Okay, no tag, so... If you saw Christina checking the back third of the snake, half of the snake, that's where we'll tag it. But it's probably smart to tag the front too, just in case the tags might check the front. Because the tags can migrate, so let's do that, Jen, while we got them in the tube. Okay. But when you guys have your own in the tube, you'll be able to feel that the skin is loose from the underlying musculature. So that's basically you want to pull it up away so you don't perforate the, the thoracic wall there. And your preference on which? I don't think, whatever you prefer. Okay. So you can pull the skin up loose. And you just need enough to get it through. Good. And then it's and then hopefully you can feel the tag in there. And I would massage it down away from the puncture site if you can. Can't really feel it. Make sure it's not in there. I think here. it's right there. So, and on the first several, it. what I would do just if you want the certainty is. Yep. There we go. Cool. 